Okay, Poser people. So, um, I had a request earlier today on Morphs and I was having a bit of a problem. Uh, but Ockham has put me on the right track, so here we go. Uh, so, we're in Poser and we want to export the bit we want to morph. Uh, now, I understand we have to do this a piece at a time, so, I'm going to do the head. Just select the head. Oh, let me turn this music down a little bit. Do love me Led Zeppelin, but uh, can get a bit noisy. Okay. So, file, export, wavefront object, single frame, to deselect everything, just select the head, click OK, make sure world body part seems is off, and as morph target, no world transformations is on. So click OK, and export it. Uh, existing one there. Okay. That seems to take a bit longer than I like, so I might have done something stupid there, never mind. So, in 3D code, file, import, per pixel painting, v4 head. No subdivision, keep UVs, no smoothing, don't worry about this because we're not doing textures. And there we have it. That's our wolf target head. Okay. So into the sculpt room, and we have a few tools to work with. Now the thing is here to be careful not to add geometry. Uh, I'm not completely sure which ones of these add geometry. Um, it's just going to be a question of uh, suck it and see, I think. So I'm going to use the move tool to start with. I'm going to scale it a little bit. I've got my symmetry plane on. Yeah. So I'm just going to work on the lips because I want them to be a little bit smaller. Okay, there's quite a heavy crease going on there. You might like that, you might not. Uh, if you don't, press shift and use the smooth tool to take it out a little bit. Okay. So see we've lost our little uh, crease down the middle, so let's try and put that back in again. Okay. Yeah, this is just an experiment, I'm not uh, meaning this to be um, fully, um, you know, usable or uh, even sensible, so just bear with me. OK, so what else do I want to do? Perhaps I want to sink the cheeks in a little bit. Just a little bit. There we go. You see there's a bit more of a sort of crease down there on that side. Turn that a little bit further back as well. And maybe, just maybe, I want to move the mouth a little bit wider. Or smaller, you know. So I'm going to go smaller. Just going to move a couple of things in there. So it keeps looking slightly natural, I suppose. I mean, making it natural and making it look re realistic is going to be a question of practice. Uh, this is about my second or third attempt, so um, I'm not <laughs> expecting to be any good at it just yet. Uh, yeah, and it's just going to take the same for you, really. It's a bit of practice, a bit of this, a bit of that. OK, so what else have we got? Uh, we have the flatten tool, which obviously will flatten areas. We may or may not want that, but let's try that. Well, I don't think we don't want that, unless we want her to look particularly deformed. Um, but, you know, you could smooth that out and, you know, make the effect your own. You know, it's whatever, whatever's good for you, really. I'm just going to go and move again there. Make it a bit smaller. It's going to. There we go. Make it look like she's at least got some shape to her uh, face. Smooth that there. Uh, we have the draw tool, and that's going to draw things out of her. Um, I'm sure that this is going to be very useful here because our 
mesh is relatively low polygon, so that's going to be quite messy. Uh, if we go smaller, oops, use that. Yeah, it's kind of doing things, but I don't think that's going to be an awful lot of use to us uh, for this application. A collapse may well be useful. So if we do a collapse across the bottom, I mean that's way too strong. It kind of tightens up that bottom lip, look, brings uh, things together. Okay, what else we got? Expand. Well, it's exactly the same as collapse, but it goes in the opposite direction. So it will fill out uh, what you've got there. Let's take that away. Um, shift, I guess, is a, a little bit like move. Well, I can't see it actually doing anything there. Well, it's doing something. Nothing very interesting. Uh, smudge will literally uh, smudge your uh, geometry about. Be handy if we had some colour on this, we might be able to see it a bit better, I suppose. And uh, that smooth, the good old favourite smooth. Okay. So I think that's probably sufficiently different from our original uh, Victoria to. Uh, demonstrate. I'll perhaps just do one more thing because I was thinking about this earlier. Just see if I can do anything with these eyelashes. Seems relatively effective. Not sure how that's going to look, but uh, we'll soon find out. Some mad transvestite, I suspect. Oops. Yeah, well, it's sufficiently different from the original, so. Okay, so when you're ready, file, export model, give it a name. I've got Fifi Head uh, Mort Target. Save your file. Yeah, I want to replace it. Low poly mesh, that's important. If you go mid poly, I think it will add um, geometry. All of these free. Uh, I'm not sure what this does at the moment. Uh, I've experimented with it, but I'm not sure it's what I want. Uh, so hit OK, and that should have saved by now. So back into Poser, select your head again. Onto the Properties tab, load Morph Target, give it a name, call it Mad Head. Okay, select your geometry file that we just saved. Um, you could try this if it doesn't work. Uh, but I think I'd generally leave it off. OK. So if we go on to here now, we should have our morph here. If I hit 1, there we go. It's not the prettiest morph in the world. She's gone a bit flat, but uh, you get the idea of what you can do. Um, let's see what it looks like rendered, shall we? Quick pause. OK, so the, uh, there we have our rendered out model. See, we've got some really mad eyelashes going on here. Um, yeah, it's sufficiently different. Um, the only thing I would say is that, uh, obviously, for big changes, this is great. Uh, if you want to put real detail into it, I'd use a uh, displacement map, uh, because her face isn't high enough resolution to do anything else. Uh, yeah, have fun. Enjoy.